Welcome to Handy Learning. This is Teacher Oscar, and in today's video, we're starting a whole new series on online resources for teaching. So stay until the end of the video to learn how to use Nearpath. Like I said in the beginning of the video, today we're going to start a series of online resources for teaching. Today we're going to talk about Nearpath, but in the future videos you should expect how to use Kahoot, how to use quizzes, and some other great resources. And also, please leave in the comments which tool uh, would you like to know more about, so I can create a video for that. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos about uh, the teaching of English as a second language, preparation for the Ceneval course, and some other great features. So having said that, with no further ado, let's start with the video of today, which is Nearpod. All you gotta do first is to go to nearpod.com, which is here, this is the website, and you can click on sign up for free. When you do that, you sign up with your Google account or Facebook account. You can uh, just relate it to it. As I already have an account, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on login. Okay, and I'm gonna choose, I did my signing up with my Google account. And I got it, all right? And I'm just gonna uh, have access to the website. So you can see here, this is the main um, platform. This is the main, the home page for nearpod.com as a teacher. When you create your account, you have to choose that you are a teacher so you can come to this one. And the, the other window that I have on the other side, this is the one that students will see. As you can see here, nearpod.com forward slash student forward slash. So this is the website you should give to your students when you have a session. The great thing about Nearpod is that there are so many pre-made sessions and, and lessons that you can choose out of the Nearpod library, which I'm going to show you here. But I would like to tell you here on the main platform, you can create your folders and uh, you know organize your lessons. I have British culture, grammar, FCE, science, which are the lessons that I give. And uh, you can create you can create your own lesson. You can uh, create your own video and bring uh, lessons from Google Slides. So Nearpod is also uh, attachable to Microsoft Teams, or you can have a, a lesson, a live uh, lesson using Zoom. All right, well, we have our folders here and we have our Nearpod library. If you don't want to create the lesson, you just go to the Nearpod library and select the different topics. We have English language arts, math, science, social studies, technology and computer, and others. Plus you have, uh, you can select grades. For example, I'm gonna go ahead and, and choose English language arts for seventh graders, okay? And we have all of the lessons that are pre-made for them. So I can choose any of this. For example, I'm gonna choose, um, I don't know, uh, um, Let's see, well, something different. I'm gonna use as long as, if, unless, and starter, okay? So I'm gonna choose this lesson. If I choose it, okay, I can add it to my library. If I do that, it's going to go, okay, now show in my library. I added it to my library. I'm gonna show it there, okay? I want you to see it in my library. Here it is, as long as. This is my library. I clicked on the Nearpod logos to return to my library. So it is here, okay? And if I select it just by passing the mouse over it, it says drag to folder. I can assign it to grammar, to my grammar folder. I already did. I just, you know, like dragged it there, okay? I'm gonna click on grammar, all right? And I'm going to, choose the, the lesson, here it is. And I have different options here. I have live participation, 
plus zoom. This is the option I told you. I can start this one and uh, uh, attach it, you know, like link it to a Zoom session that I already have if I'm teaching through Zoom. Or I can only do live participation or student paced. This one, it could be for homework, you know, you assign that one so students can do it later. But if you want to give your lesson in real time, you click on live participation. And of course, previous to doing that, you should check the lesson and how it goes and everything. But I would like to show you here. So he, here we have the code. So you should tell your students to go to nearpod.com forward slash student or at this address. They can also type this address on their browser, join.nearpod.com or in the app on their mobile phones. And all they got to do is to type the code there. I'm going to do it. So you can see how students is the, the, the lesson, okay? I'm going to join, all right? And I am in the lesson. Here, if I were a student, I'm going to type my name, Oscar. That's it. If I want to give a nickname, I can do that, but I'm just going to go ahead and click on join lesson. It's going to say, it's going to show exactly the same screen that I have as a teacher, but as a teacher, I have the arrows. So if I start it, take a look at this. As a teacher, I can handle it. The student only sees what I do here. So all of the lesson is going to lead me. Obviously, this is a pre-made lesson, which is going to explain everything, all right? materials and preparation before teaching this lesson. This is for you as a teacher, but you can show it to the students as well. Essential question, how can I make my writing better by combining two sentences? So if you are already giving your lesson in real time, you can start uh, your lesson from this slide. So students can, we can create like a discussion moment, eliciting information so they can answer this question. And then you give them the objectives of the lesson. So as you can see, the lesson is already well made. It was pre-made. I selected it from the library. And then it includes, as you can see here, it says, let's see what we know. This is like a, a period of eliciting information, you know, to know exactly what your students know, if they will be able to follow it. As a teacher, I have the question here. Read the quote in the reference image in your own words. What do you think this quote means? Okay, I have the image here. This is the image here. I'm just going to go ahead and type, I don't know. Well, this is just, this is the student working. All right. And I click submit as a student. Okay. If I think uh, it's not right, I can edit it. And now you can see as a teacher, I received it from my student. I received the, the answer. Okay. So in this moment, I can just to understand what they're doing. And I continue with the lesson. It's going here on the student side. Another question. I type my answer. I'm just doing this for uh, showing, showing you how, how it works. I submit it. I can edit it. Typing here. Submit. Okay, got it. Right, ready. And until I teacher. Oh, sorry, you saw the addition of the answer was there. Okay, I click on the next one. Let's dive into the lesson. Okay, more exercises. And we start with the lesson. So you can go uh, after slide after slide. And this is why you can, uh, if you want to create one of your lessons, your own lesson, you can, you know, like export one of your Google Slides lesson. Google Slides uh, works as PowerPoint. Right, so you can bring it here and give your lesson like this. So that will be a great tool for you to do your lessons and to teach. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and and finish the lesson until the slide number 26 it says thank you. I'm gonna click on near pod here and session. Yes, I want to end the session. For the student says your teacher has ended the sessions. You were signed in, I click on OK, and I go back to the main slide. So as you can see here, you have lots of resources. 
Also, you have this part that says Teacher Resources. If I click there, I'm going to have lots of tools, some videos, some uh, webinars, some stuff that I have here using Nearpod with Google for beginners with Microsoft, lots of tools that I can implement and include in my lessons. So this, this has been Nearpod, like in the general overview. If you would like to know more about Nearpod and you want me to create a video exactly on how to create a lesson, please leave it in the comments. Give a like to this video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and share it to your acquaintances and friends or co-workers. This is Teacher Oscar and this has been another video for Handy Learning. Thank you very much.